short voyage up to towards the the gyre. Um, it's around 20, 32, 35 degrees north latitude. Uh, we don't have a lot of time because we have constraints of, of the um, the North Pacific hurricane season. This trip is um, a number of things. It's a different way to explore, and and it's a, and it's a shift. It's a change. It's something new, and I think that's what exploration is about. Where we're going to is not the zone of where the air is lifted. It's a zone where the air gets cold because it went north, heavy, condensed, and it sinks. And so I, basically what we're exploring is this interrelationship between hot air being lifted off the equator, cooled in the northern latitudes, and, and, and migrating back in this system of air. This is a place of miracles. This is a place that we should be so grateful. And for me, the more older I get, the more I fall in love with this earth. This is a place of miracles. This is a place that we should be so grateful. And for me, the more older I get, the more I fall in love with this earth. The reason why this is important for me is because of this, this time when I'm ending my voyaging while young people are starting it looking at how do we truly train and graduate the next generation of navigators. We've been teaching competence at sea, skill, knowledge, decision making. Now I think we have to couple it with, with the code, the code of the navigator. And that's where humility and excellence get intertwined. When you're really, really good as a navigator, then you don't have to tell anybody. You can be very quiet, and um, and that's what we're actually. I'll be thinking a lot about on this maybe 10-day sail that we're going to take. So I'm looking forward to this trip and being with um, our top young navigators. <laughs>